The vast Pacific Ocean, a cradle of life and weather, stretches across one-third of the Earth's surface, influencing climates and ecosystems far and wide, is once again in the grip of La Nina, a phenomenon that brings cooler-than-average sea surface temperatures to the central and eastern equatorial Pacific. This climate pattern, a cooler counterpart to El Nino, is no stranger to our planet. It is part of the larger El Nino Southern Oscillation ENSO cycle, which plays a significant role in global weather variations. Every few years, it emerges from the depths, altering weather systems across the globe. Its influence can be seen in shifting wind patterns, ocean currents, and atmospheric conditions. La Nina, Spanish for little girl, might sound innocuous, but its effects are far-reaching, impacting weather patterns in ways that can lead to significant changes in our environment, influencing temperatures, rainfall, and storm tracks across continents. It can lead to wetter conditions in some regions and droughts in others, altering the usual weather expectations. This year, as we approach the winter of 2024 to 2025, La Nina is back. Its presence is already being felt in various parts of the world, with early signs of its impact on weather patterns. However, this isn't a repeat performance. Each La Nina event is unique, with its own set of characteristics and outcomes. Scientists predict a weaker event compared to its recent predecessors. This means that while La Nina will still influence global weather, its effects might not be as pronounced as in previous years. While its influence will be felt globally, the intensity and regional impacts are expected to be more nuanced. Some areas might experience milder effects while others could see more significant changes. Understanding this complex interplay of oceanic and atmospheric forces is crucial for predicting and preparing for the months ahead. Researchers and meteorologists continue to monitor and analyze data to provide accurate forecasts and help communities brace for the changes La Nina brings. Imagine the Pacific Ocean as a giant bathtub, its waters constantly moving, swirling and shifting in a complex dance. La Nina arises from a delicate balance of winds, ocean currents and temperatures, creating a unique climate phenomenon. Trade winds, those persistent easterlies blowing across the equatorial Pacific, play a crucial role in this intricate process. During La Nina, these winds strengthen significantly, pushing warm surface waters westward towards Indonesia and Australia creating a noticeable shift. As warm water piles up in the west, colder water from the depths rises to the surface in the central and eastern Pacific, a process known as upwelling. This upwelling brings nutrient-rich waters to the surface, supporting a diverse array of marine life, from tiny plankton to large fish. However, it also cools the overlying atmosphere, setting the stage for La Nina's far-reaching effects on global weather patterns. This year, the cooling is expected to be less pronounced, leading to a weaker La Nina event, but still influencing weather systems worldwide. Even a weaker La Nina can bring about significant changes, including altered rainfall patterns, increased storm activity, and shifts in temperature. Communities around the world prepare for these changes, adapting to the impacts of La Nina on agriculture, water resources, and daily life. Scientists continue to study La Nina seeking to understand its complexities and improve predictions, helping societies better prepare for its effects. High above us, a river of wind snakes its way around the globe. This river, known as the jet stream, is a powerful force in our atmosphere. This is the jet stream, a fast-flowing air current that dictates weather patterns across vast distances. It acts as a boundary between cold and warm air masses, influencing everything from daily weather to seasonal climate. La Nina, with its altered Pacific temperatures, acts like a conductor, influencing the jet stream's path and strength. When the Pacific Ocean cools, it sets off a chain reaction that can be felt around the world. During a La Nina winter, the jet stream over North America tends to shift southward, bringing colder, drier air to the southern United States and wetter conditions to the Pacific Northwest. This shift can lead to significant changes in weather patterns affecting agriculture, water supply, and even energy consumption. Meanwhile, the jet stream over the Pacific Ocean strengthens, leading to a more active storm track and increased precipitation across the northern Pacific. This can result in more frequent and intense storms, impacting coastal communities and marine ecosystems. This shift in the jet stream is a key driver of La Nina's regional impacts, causing contrasting weather patterns across the globe. From droughts in some areas to floods in others, La Nina's influence on the jet stream underscores the interconnectedness of our planet's climate system. 
As winter descends upon North America, La Nina's influence will be evident from coast to coast. The southern tier of the United States from California to Florida can expect drier than average conditions. This could exacerbate drought concerns in already parched regions, impacting agriculture and increasing wildfire risks. Conversely, the Pacific Northwest and parts of the northern United States may experience a wetter and colder winter. This could lead to increased snowfall in the mountains, impacting transportation and potentially increasing the risk of avalanches. However, it could also provide much-needed snowpack, crucial for water resources later in the year. Section 5. Across the Pond, a milder touch on Europe. While La Nina's influence on North America is generally more pronounced, Europe also feels its subtle touch. The connection is less direct, with the North Atlantic Oscillation, another climate pattern, playing a mediating role. During a La Nina winter, the NAO tends to favor a positive phase, leading to stronger westerly winds across the North Atlantic. This typically brings milder and wetter conditions to Northern Europe, while Southern Europe may experience drier conditions. However, these impacts are less certain and can be modulated by other atmospheric factors. Section 6. Asia's Shifting Seasons, From Drought to Deluge Across the vast expanse of Asia, La Nina's impact is a story of stark contrast. Southeast Asia, particularly Indonesia and the Philippines, often bears the brunt of La Nina's fury. The strengthened trade winds push warm waters westward, fueling increased rainfall and a heightened risk of flooding. Conversely, parts of India and Central Asia may experience drier than average conditions during a La Nina winter. This can lead to reduced agricultural yields and water shortages, impacting millions of people who rely on monsoon rains. La Nina's influence on Asia highlights the interconnectedness of global weather patterns and the vulnerability of different regions to climate variability. Section 7, Australia's Turn, a season of extremes down under. Australia, a land accustomed to extremes, also feels the effects of La Nina. This winter, eastern and northern Australia are likely to experience above-average rainfall. This could bring much-needed relief to drought-stricken areas but also increase the risk of flooding, particularly in Queensland and New South Wales. Meanwhile, western and southern parts of the country may see drier conditions. This could exacerbate bushfire risks, especially after a period of prolonged drought. La Nina's influence on Australia underscores the importance of preparedness and adaptation in the face of a changing climate. Section 8, South America's Balancing Act, From Floods to Fires South America, a continent of diverse climates and ecosystems, experiences a mixed bag of impacts from La Nina. Northern parts of the continent including Colombia and Venezuela, typically see increased rainfall, which can lead to flooding and landslides. These events can disrupt transportation, agriculture, and pose risks to human settlements. In contrast, central and southern Chile and Argentina often experience drier conditions during La Nina. This can lead to reduced water availability for agriculture and increase the risk of wildfires. La Nina's influence on South America highlights the delicate balance of water resources in the region and the need for sustainable management practices. Section 9, The Crystal Ball of Climate Forecasting La Nina's Impacts Predicting the precise impacts of La Nina is a complex endeavor, akin to piecing together a puzzle with constantly shifting pieces. Scientists rely on a combination of sea surface temperature data, atmospheric models, and historical observations to forecast La Nina's development and potential effects. While these tools have improved significantly, there are still uncertainties inherent in any forecast. The strength and persistence of La Nina can vary, and other climate patterns, such as the Arctic Oscillation and the Madden-Julian Oscillation, can interact with La Nina, influencing its regional impacts. Section 10, A World in Flux, Navigating the Uncertainties of La Nina As we venture into the winter of 2024-2025, the presence of La Nina serves as a reminder of our planet's interconnectedness and the profound influence of natural climate variability. While this year's event is predicted to be weaker than its predecessors, its impacts will be felt across the globe, from altered weather patterns to shifts in agricultural yields and water resources. Understanding and adapting to these changes is crucial for human societies, particularly in vulnerable regions. By monitoring La Nina's development, improving forecasting capabilities, and implementing effective adaptation strategies, we can better prepare for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. 
Section 11, Stay Tuned, The Ever-Changing Story of Our Planet. The story of La Nina is not a static one, it's a dynamic, evolving phenomenon that demands our attention and understanding. As the winter unfolds, scientists will continue to monitor sea surface temperatures, atmospheric conditions, and La Nina's evolving impacts. Staying informed about these developments is crucial for individuals, communities, and governments alike. By staying informed, we can make more informed decisions, mitigate risks, and build resilience in the face of our planet's ever-changing climate. The dance of La Nina is a reminder that we are all connected by the delicate threads of our planet's climate system.